Hello all, hope you are all doing good. We'll discuss one more AutoSAR topic that is AutoSAR methodology. Some of you who are working on AutoSAR are already aware of AutoSAR methodology and for some this may be new. In any AutoSAR project, the main activity is to integrate the AutoSAR BSW modules and build a stack. Let's see what are all the activities that are involved in AutoSAR integration, right? So uh, normally the customer gives an EC extract which is relevant for that project, right? So the OEM gives an EC extract and uh, the activity of integrating the EC extract starts by importing the EC extract into an AutoSAR configuration tool. And the, this tool autofills most of the BSW modules with the data from EC extract. And if there is any data that is not part of EC extract, the AutoSAR integrator has to take care of of filling these uh, modules like ECM, BSWM, and some configuration RT, OS, and MCAL manually, right? And then we have to generate the AutoSAR modules because we need to get the generated files which are in the form of .c files, which are basically reflect the configuration from the EC extract. Once you generate the modules by resolving the generation errors, we have to build the software. So while building the software, you need the two kinds of files. One is uh, generated files and the other one is the static code that is received from the vendor. Once we have built the software, you get the executable, we flash the executable and do the testing. So basically these are all the major activities that are involved in an AutoSAR integration, right? So how this relates to AutoSAR methodology, the standard process defined by AutoSAR. AutoSAR methodology. So this is the flow of the steps that is defined by AutoSAR. This can be found in the AutoSAR specifications. I recommend to go through AutoSAR ARXML video in the channel, right? So to get a better understanding of uh, what this each file consists of. Okay, let's uh, discuss uh, step by step. So AutoSAR methodology, you can see the flow diagram. So it starts from the system configuration input. So they, they are giving some input, right? And finally, we are getting an output here, which is an executable. So AutoSAR methodology basically depicts the input files, how the input files are defined and how the outputs are obtained or what the outputs are obtained. So this is basically this picture gives an understanding of the process of AutoSAR methodology. So it's by starting with the system configuration input. Once you have the system configuration input, you go for configuring the system, and then you have the system configuration description as output. Then from system configuration description, the description of each ECU is extracted, which is in the form of an XML. This RXML is given as input to the AutoSAR configuration tool to configure the ECU. And then output of configure ECU would be ECU configuration description. Then generate the executable. Finally, you have the executable. Let's go a step further and see what what. Let's try to understand more details of each step. So to start with system configuration input. So what are the inputs that go as part of system configuration? So we have the software component description files, data types, ports, interfaces. So these are all defined by the OEM based on their project needs. And then you will have EC resources like memory, peripherals, sensors, and actuators. Basically, this gives an idea of uh, like how many, what are the peripherals and how many peripherals are used in the system, what are the memory constraints, if there are any sensors, actuators, and so on. And we have system constraints like the bus signals, topology, network management information, and also VFB view of software components. So VFB view is nothing but it gives an overall picture of the software components in a system. So these are the inputs that are part of system configuration input. Once these system configuration inputs are available, the next step would be to configure the system. So what is done in the configure, configuring the system? So the basic or main activity which is done here is mapping the software components to the issues with regard to software's resources and timing requirement. Right? 
So the output of this configure system would be a system configuration description. And what all details go into this system configuration description? This includes system information like bus mapping, topology, and it also tells which software component is located on which ECU. Basically, which software component is going to which ECU and which signal is being sent from which software component, right? So those are uh, details would be part of system configuration description file. So this system configuration description file is basically we can say this is a, a file that contains information of multiple ECUs. Okay. So each ECU will have its own uh, signals and messages which are received and which are transmitted by that particular ECU. In the system configuration description file, the information of multiple ECUs is configured in the system configuration description file. So once you have the system configuration description file, what is the activity? So normally what happens is, so uh, if a particular company is working on a AutoSub project, so they will need just the ECU information that is relevant for that project, but not the entire system configuration description. There may be scenarios, uh, the system configuration description file may be needed, but most of the cases, it is just enough to have the ECU extract for a particular project. Right. So next step involves to getting the easy extract or easy specific information from the system configuration description. Right. What 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 is the action taken in this step? So basically, this step extracts the information from the system configuration description needed for a specific ECU, and we call the output of this step as easy extract of one ECU in the system. So once this easy extract of one one ECU is derived this is shared by the oem to the tier 1 or tier 2 whoever is going to integrate the bsw modules so as part of the configure ecu step what are the activities that are taken by the auto sir integrator they import the ec extract as a first step then the configuration tool auto fills all the bsw module information from the ec extract the integrator has to map the os tasks with the runnable entities, perform necessary manual configurations which are required like RT, OS, uh, MCAL, ECM, BSWM. Right after this manual configuration is done, the output of this step would be ECU configuration description. This ECU configuration description file is required for generating the BSW modules. Okay, In the next step, the generate executable step. This EC configuration description has taken as input by the AutoSub configuration tool to generate BSW modules, RTE, MCAL, and OS. Once you have these generated files, which are dynamic files, these files have to be considered for building the software by including the static files and also the software components. Once the software is built uh, successfully without any errors, then the step is like you have the output as executable file, which you can use for flashing onto the hardware and do the testing, right? So basically what we have discussed so far is AutoSAR methodology. In this AutoSAR methodology, there are several steps. These steps involve which is the input and perform an action and what is the output taken care, okay? So each, each input file has a specific information and somehow that information is extracted with a action between the input files. So that's why I said, so this autosar methodology basically depicts which are the inputs and what are the outputs obtained. So any autosar integration activity, if you are doing, it's a very important for you to know this process, what are the files involved here, what are the steps involved here, and who is providing to, who is going to provide which file. So system configuration input, configure system, system configuration description, extract ECU specific information. So this, all these four steps are done by OEM because they have the complete idea of the system. And from this step, ECU extract of a system configuration tool configuring the ECU 
EC configuration description, generate executable, and finally hang the EC executable. So this activity can be done by the tier one supplier or by tier two supplier. Right. So this is about autosome methodology. I hope uh, this session I will help you to understand uh, the process better. If you have any questions or suggestions, please feel free to leave in the comments. And until next session, take care. Bye-bye.